So next I have to modify some things. So first I get rid of, of uh, the bottom and I can get uh, rid of these polygons. Mm -hmm. And then I think I must bring these two edges down a bit. So W key, bring them down. Next I need to check the Y position of this vertex. So it is 2.4991 millimeters. Control copy, hit the escape key, then select all these words here, these ones, these, go to vertex, set position, control V in the Y, and now I can delete uh, these polygons here as well. So delete. I only want to have round corners up here, but not here. So I select these two words, hit the R key and bring them right out. Next I shift C, select the slice tool and slice through here and now we should hold everything. Before I continue I will uh, copy this into a new mesh for later use. You will see why control V and we don't need to see it. Let's go back to this one and now I can go to duplicate mirror uh, over the Y apply drop the tool. Now this will be our rails or however this is called and you remember we had an offset of 30 millimeters so I can uh, select this hit the W key and move it up 30 millimeters and this is why I say it's a good thing to have numbers which you remember. I can now bring in our mesh here to check if it looks good. Yes, this looks perfect. Now I can go to duplicate radial sweep with a count of 24 around the set and hit the apply key. Let's see how this looks. That looks pretty nice. But we will make it look even a bit nicer. So I select this one, control copy, hit the N key for new mesh, control V. We don't need to see this one. Then uh, go back to the original one and I now select two polys in here, hit the L key, shift up arrow, shift up arrow and hit delete. Next I go to the mesh where I uh, saved my profile away and now you will understand again why it's nice to know how much uh, we have to go up so I can use the W key, bring this one up exactly 30 millimeters, hit the F key to flip it, select it again, control copy, control V, action center, origin, hit the E key and control rotate this by 90 degrees hit the F key again and now we have 
two caps control. X, we go to our original mesh, control V, and now we can nicely cap our profiles here. So let's see uh, if it works out. So vertex, merge, automatic. I uh, don't think so. This one did, this one did not. So we must help it a bit. I select all these words here, hit the R key, action center automatic, bring them down to zero. Let's try again, vertex merge, automatic, yes. Now it has merged. So next thing is, I would like to have this surface here really look as if it would have been, uh, you know, sawed off by a very sharp instrument. So I want to make these edges here look very sharp. If you don't have Modo 501 or higher, this will uh, take some more edge hardening, but if you have it, we can select all these polys here and all these polygons here. Then hit the control key, click on boundary, then go to vertex map, edge way tool, 20%, click in the viewport, drop the tool, and if we shift tab now, you see we have very hard, very nice edges. So, <clears throat> to make it even look a bit better, we can go to the inner, hit the E key, and rotate this a bit, like so. Now, select both of these meshes, and here is our complete ball bearing. I will make uh, uh, we can do this in the video. First I select the cages or the cage and hit the M key, give them a material cage, then hide it, select all the rest, give them a material too, uh, like steel, we drop the tool. Now I unhide everything, go to uh, top view, make a really big plane like so. Perspective, drop the tool, control X, put it in a new control V, in a new mesh, go to the side view, and now first I must select it, then side view, W key, and bring this down to here. But so hit the M key and give them a name as well, like uh, ground plane. Now we can go to the shader tree, to the render tab, first <coughs> to the uh, properties, I make a larger frame, I make it 1280 by 800, and we have now our materials which we uh, assigned. So let's get this into view. Ah, just a second. Hit the A key. So <clears throat> now we can make this one visible again. Now, shade the tree, 
and we can start giving all these things a material. I have done this before. Ground plane gets this nice thing here. Um, the steel becomes the silver material and the cage gets bronze, this one. And now we render this. And here it is. Looks pretty nice and was pretty quickly done. Thanks very much for watching this. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.